Hey everybody, it's me, it's your good old buddy Thorn, and we're back here, well, we're back in our world, let's put it that way. I've worked on this new skin, and I'm not really sure, uh, this is like my first skin job. <clears throat> so, it's, um, I don't know, for a first look it's not too bad, I still need to do some work on it. Uh, but, we are kind of out of our cities, and we're out of the Dwarven Mine projects for a moment. Uh, the last couple of weeks I've kind of taken on a new project. I kind of got bored of what I was doing. So I wandered a bit and uh, found a new place to play and uh, our new location anyway. And um, you can see behind me we're kind of in the desert. We're on, the, on this river right here. And so what I have been doing is this. I have built a copy of the pair of uh, the step pyramid of Djoser. Now Djoser, um, the Egyptian pharaoh, many, 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 many years ago, and his pyramid was the first of the kind built. And it is actually two scale. Let's look around. There's the outer walls. Uh, it's kind of broken down and destroyed. But uh, oh, it's getting to be night. Oh no. Always at the beginning of these. Well, we're going to watch the sun go down anyway while I talk about this. Uh, the Pyramid of Djoser is a step pyramid. It was six steps. And you, you can see there, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to the top. Um, it's 129 meters by 109 meters, not quite square. Uh, it is 62 meters tall from the very bottom to the top. Now, this entryway. Is loosely based on what was uh, with the floor designs. A lot of this has been lost. A lot more experiment or exploration is going on at the time. That's ah, gorgeous sunset. Look at that. Surrounding the whole complex was a 10 meter wall or 10 meter high wall, and uh, I'll show you that after a little bit. But uh, yeah, as the sun goes down and the moon pokes out from behind the clouds, that is our pyramid. I'm really happy with it. Um, we just use this nighttime to go and take a look at it. Um, and there's a desert temple right over there, a later edition in hit in, in game, let's say. What I did was I took the existing terrain and built around it. Now you're gonna see that the sand dunes have come in and covered parts of this. This is like a uh, an archaeological project happening and so I left majority of the terrain and simply built around it. Oh, we're getting spawns in. That's fine. So if you come down here to this entryway, if you will, it's been kind of covered with sand, uh, pillars, uh, marked the road, a couple of them collapsed. We go down into what was the mortuary temple and uh, it's faced with white marble. And I've tried to design this thing uh, very similar to the hello skeleton, very similar to the footprint. There's a couple other buildings off on this side, uh, and I've got one of them done, but some of them have been destroyed by high sediment. Hello, cinnamon. Some of them have been destroyed with the passage of time, uh, but it's just really awesome look. Um, really happy with it and this is without shaders this is just vanilla mine pack or, or uh, block pack uh, but it really does look gorgeous um, but the mortuary building itself oh skeleton the mortuary building itself was on the north side of the pyramid and had a set of false doors leading into the pyramid itself which was the tomb of Djoser um, and we kind of look around and kind of see it's not much here I've got to put some more furniture and designs into it. And then we can go down to um, the, uh, well, let's just go down in here. This next building over has been kind of filled in with sand, and there's really not too much here. But I just wanted to show you because it's 
really neat looking. So the pyramid itself, um, they had buried uh, the pharaoh underneath the pyramid. Uh, in the entryway into the pyramid was um, there was a couple of them, and the later later digs found the entrance way into it. It was 1.5 meters by 1.5 meters square tunnel. So I've kind of re tried to replicate this, dug into the mountain um, or underneath it. And as we go down and go further and further down, we're about 27 meters down from ground level. And we just keep going down. And digging this tunnel, I actually hit a zombie spawner, so I left that right here. And then we enter the tomb itself. Now off of the tomb in the original, which I haven't worked on yet, is a series of tunnels. Um, and the tunnels underneath this burial mound, or burial pyramid, was about seven kilometers of tunnels run everywhere. So I have a way to go. But we enter the tomb complex. It was a seven meter diameter chamber and a granite sarcophagus. Of course, nothing was in there when they rediscovered the tomb. And about where the top of the sandstone is, which was covered with granite rock um, set in place. And a, a pit was dug from the bottom all the way down. And then that was filled with all the rubble. Now what I've done is I've opened this all up because, in my world, um, the Pharaoh Hill was buried and the whole concept was he's when he dies his spirit will rise to go up and you can see the inside of the pyramid up there. Oh, that looks really nice. So his spirit would rise and the interior of the pyramid is hollow and is actually a... Um, a afterworld for him to live in. Now these are these doors that are in the mortuary that are fake doors. So if you can imagine these doors actually opening, which I might do redstone to have those open, and you come down into this area and, and then it lights up and you got the central corridor headed towards this place. And somewhere, somehow, I made a miscalculation on one block off. I need to go back and fix it. Um, because all this should be over one block. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure how the hell I did that. But, and, it, and it's only on that side. So you cover the central corridor where the hole is 27 meters down. And um, you can go down this hall. And when you look up, I've lighted the the edges and the corners and um, it's just magnificent really so this this hall of columns leads down to this fake door which leads out but you can kind of look back and it's just you know that's ah, amazing now none of this is actually in the, the pyramid of Joseph this is all my stuff um, and then we've got a uh, A temple set back into here and, and this style is reminiscent of Egyptian architecture of the pyramids uh, temples uh, but it's all made out of crystal which I thought was kind of neat I, st I don't have anything in here yet but I've got to outfit all this but it does make a very striking uh, building uh, definitely not something to be designed and built outside but it's pretty neat and you've got this kind of faux courtyard with a with a huge tree there um, and then on this side I left the original ground so there was there was caves and, and gullies and, and what have you in here and I just built around it like this is collapsed and um, in the tomb so and then we have another building out here which will finish all this up into temple uh, what have you, and then a ritual bath back here, and here's more of that rift or cracks in the earth that has collapsed. Because um, the background story for this is that this is built, built, you know, thousands and thousands of years ago, and then some unknown geographical disaster happened and it tore everything down. 
the pyramid was still there, but part of it was wiped out, part of it collapsed inside. The city surrounding it was destroyed. Um, and it's just, you know, uh, the, the architecture or, or the geographical surroundings was, was changed. Um, so, uh, and this is another corner that I haven't quite started work on yet. I've only got this one quarter, quarter of the pyramid done. Let's fly all the way to the top, shall we? Um, it says 62 meters to the top of this thing from ground level. So each section will be a different part for the, the Pharaoh Joser to live his life. Um, we have the temple. We'll have something over here. We'll have something over here. We'll have something over here. And each road will lead off to a fake door. One to the north, one to the west, one to the south, one to the east. Now the road to the south, I've kind of got in position on there, stuck a, uh, a portal in here. So I don't know what we're going to do with this. I still got to do some work on it. Still got to put the pillars on these two. You see that that's that is correct. That is lined up correct. And the other side, like I said, I don't know what I did. I gotta go back and count. But I gotta clear the rest of this ground out on the three of the corners. And um, and then build all of all these three sections. You can kind of see where I've done some work. Now this thing is it's huge on the inside, uh, but it's absolutely <laughs> massive on the outside. The only way in and out of here right at the moment is down through Joser's tent. So let's go back upstairs. Uh, outside. Um, jump over the zombie chain. Now this is only 1.5 meters across and I had to use a slab to make it that way. I did not make it 1.5 meters tall. Um, no real reason. I'll probably do that with some of the tunnels going underneath all this thing um, but it's kind of a kind of a neat neat way to do that um, and I tried to stick with the original footprint for the most part if we scale or fly up we can see the mortuary building is exactly where it is this little building is supposed to be where it is there should be two more buildings right over here but this in the cataclysmic I don't know upheaval of the land they were destroyed, so I'll have some ruins around here, which is what you see with these walls surrounding it. Um, the pyramid is to scale. It is 129 meters by 109 meters. Uh, the base step is of sandstone, and the rest of it is this limestone block, which looks pretty good, really. Um, and it goes all the way around. And it's 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 absolutely massive. Uh, when I started building this, I didn't think it was going to be this huge. Uh, well, I knew it was going to be this huge. I just didn't realize that I would be putting in thousands and thousands of blocks. Well, I didn't think about it. Let's put it that way. So if we go all the way to the top, and I've lit this thing up so at night it does make a pyramid shape. Um, you can kind of see the remains of the walls in a far distance and that's going to go all the way around. You can see this one broken down and it's going to go back over to this corner because there was more buildings on this side which will be remains through here and then I'll probably dig out and put them in eventually. But the walls themselves, I tried to stick with that 10 meter size and left the land masses as are to show okay something cataclysmic did happen and then smashed these walls down. Um, also, the people over the ages have taken blocks and materials out of here to um, effectively build their town. And there's a little town here in the corner. So, at one point, this is a huge river. People would stop and go up to the mortuary uh, building, pay their regards, go to the temples, that kind of thing. So, that's what this represents. And it's been kind of reclaimed by the desert or part of it anyway. And then our little desert town over here, I've done a little bit of work on it. I need to really, really build this up a little bit more. 
but it's kind of the same. They kind of have a half built section and it's kind of falling apart over time. Just abandonment. Oh, my crops are doing good. Um, but here's some more of that wall on this side. And as the time went on, they built this secondary temple. And this is the one that they use now. Okay. So, anyway, this is the Pyramid of Djoser. You look it up online, it's pretty interesting. It's the first real pyramid in Egypt. And um, I've got a lot more work to do on the interior. But, uh, yeah, really happy with it so far. Now, I'll add some more stuff that I've been doing. Oh, well, let me just show you where this is in real relationship to everything else. Um, I was doing a lot of work on the other villages, but I kind of, I was starting to run and get into a rut. I needed to get out of it. So here's our pyramid complex. You can see how huge this thing is. Um, and eventually the interior from the wall from the north over to the east, and it's broken down. We'll go back into this lower section of the desert before it cuts back across and, and be broken down by this river. So you kind of see the wall shape originally. And that's kind of the footprint we're going to do. Rather than wiping it all clean down to 64 uh, height, we're going to use the terrain, like these mountains to the northeast, uh, the sand dune to the north or the southeast, and to the west, and the river uh, to kind of show that this stuff is is old and then we'll 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 decorate the entire thing but if we zoom out a bit you can kind of see where we are in relationship to our dwarven city and mines um, not too far really not too far at all uh, across the desert just up the road <laughs> and um, we have been building on this little place um, and, and pretty happy with that and I think I showed or I think I video some of that so we'll have to check but if you follow that river up we built this dwarven dock and then we put a rail system to go into the mines we've done a lot of work on the mines but I just got tired of doing it um, and that happens you know and so I moved from these three settlements to the northern two. I just really wanted to do a pyramid. Now, eventually I need to find, and I think I'll probably do it right in here in this uh, Lorian forest and bamboo forest area. I'll probably do like a Mayan temple, which should be really interesting. Um, somewhere right in here, lost in the, in the forest. And then here is our original house when we first started doing it. And then we still have, uh, well, we just got started on uh, this city. This is the tavern. We just started the roads on this city before we moved north. So we've got a, quite a bit to do. But we're pretty happy with what we got um, so far. And uh, yeah, so if I look in the right direction. Um, yep, that's to the north. So let's go fly over. We're not too far away. Um, let's go fly over and look at this other village. Then there we go. Here's our dwarven kingdom. Um, then the freight yard. I kind of went with a modern feel for it. So Ships come in and drop off and pick up. There's our gold and what have you. I'll flow down this river to this town, which I think I showed you a little bit of. Oh, still got a little bit of work to do on it. Pretty happy with it though. And I really need to work on this stronghold I'm not happy with. It looks it looks okay, but as compared to the gatehouse, the stronghold itself is pretty small. So, yeah, it just needs some work. Just not quite there yet. But yeah, this is a pretty good little city. I um, really like kind of the buildings. I really kind of like the look. 
Um, got one small boat here. Probably got a couple more. But uh, yeah. And it's fairly close to uh, the Dwarven Kingdom over here. We almost see. And then the road kind of, the main road leads us over to the cattle yards. And then so you've got the, oh, that looks just gorgeous, doesn't it? You've got the, um, you've got the cathedral, the basilica on this hill. And you've got the big, huge dwarven stuff on this hill. And yeah, um, <laughs> I said, I said I wasn't going to build big anymore. And then I did a pyramid. So, yeah, and as the sun goes down, we'll walk back to our small fishing hut, our f small harbor town. Um, still a lot of work to do. Uh, great thing about Minecraft is you're never really done. Oh yeah, that looks really good. I really like this town. Um, yeah. And then far off to the north is the uh, the old Egyptian kingdom, I guess was what we'll call it. So, oh yeah, could that look nice? That looks gorgeous. Really happy with the way you can detail a town out and really make it uh, stand out. You just look, look, if you look down through here, I don't have the shaders on right now, uh, but if you look down through here, look at that. It's just like, oh wow, yeah. And you look down the city streets, which I still got to dress these out. But they really just look awesome. Mm -hmm. Really happy with the way this, this little town turned out. It needs a little bit more work. But it looks pretty darn good. Yep. And now, let's go fly and look at that. You're slowly making your way up to it, which, uh, there, there it is, it's barely, barely visible in the night, which we need to dig the rest of that out, but anyway, so, you can almost see it, and the walls, the outer walls of the compound until we get back to where we were and there's our pyramid a step pyramid of gozer um look online there's some really good documentaries on this uh this is the one that was supposedly built by imhotep as a major change for the way they were doing burials prior to uh, this and then after this it was just kind of a progression to see what they were going to build. And what I really like about this lighting effect is, yes, this is a step pyramid, but at night, the shadows form a true pyramid. Um, and so I tried to light it that way. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. But anyway, um, here we are at the, at the pyramid. We're going to do some more work on the interior, obviously. But we're really happy with what we've got so far. So, uh, another major build, pretty much done. We still got to do some walls. We still got to do some ruins here. Still got to do the interior on three sides or three quarter, quarters. Got to fix that gate. I don't know what I did. A uh, couple more buildings over my shoulder here that need to be put in or destroyed. But yeah, and now I'm going to start thinking about what I'm going to do next. Is, is it going to be the Mayan pyramid? I don't know. Is it going to be something completely different? Uh, could be. Um, but anyway, my skin that I built 
That was my first attempt at building a scan. I'm pretty happy with it. I don't think it turned out too bad. Um, uh, probably take the cape off. I don't, that's supposed to be a bearskin cape. It just did not turn out very well. And, um, but everything else turned out okay. Uh, pretty plain, pretty straightforward. And uh, it's got my beard, it's got my frown, it's got my scar. Happy, happy, happy. All right. Hey, this is Thorn, and thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned. We'll have some more stuff up soon. All right. Have a good one.